everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you three easy vegan meals that you can make in around five minutes total. Not only is this video time friendly, but it is also dorm room friendly and budget friendly as well because we're only going to need nine ingredients to make everything and we're only going to be making it in a microwave. So in order to make our recipes today, you're going to need two cans of black beans, one can of fire roasted tomatoes, a package of frozen corn, microwavable rice, a jar of salsa, corn tortillas, fresh cilantro, limes, and avocado. Additionally, we're also going to be using some chili powder, cayenne pepper, cumin, and nutritional yeast to add some extra flavor to our dishes. Now, obviously these dishes aren't going to be super gourmet or fine dining, Michelin star quality. However, I tested and ate all of these and I thought they tasted pretty dang delicious, especially with the amount of time that you're putting into them. So without further ado, let's get straight to microwaving. So first up, we're going to be making some microwave tortilla soup. And for this recipe, we're going to start out by making our soup broth. And to give our broth more flavor, we're going to be using a mixture of fire roasted tomatoes and some salsa. I used about half a cup of salsa and half of the can of the fire roasted tomatoes. We're also going to add a little bit of water to thin things out as well as some chili powder, cumin, and a pinch of cayenne pepper just to make things a little bit more spicy and more flavorful. So we're just going to stir this together to form our soup broth and then we can add the contents of our soup. So. First up, we're going to add some of that frozen corn as well as some black beans. Then we're just going to thinly slice up one tortilla and I cut this into pretty thin strips because that's just how I prefer it in my tortilla soup. However, you can cut it as thick or as thin as you'd like, but I thought one tortilla was good for one bowl of a serving size. So you're just going to add that in with your beans and corn and then just mix everything together and we're going to pop this in the microwave for two to three minutes depending on how thick you like your soup. After it's nice and warm, you can transfer it to a bowl or just eat it in the same thing and then top it with some cilantro, some diced avocado, a squeeze of fresh lime juice if that's your thing and then last but not least i topped it with some nutritional yeast to give it a bit of a cheesy flavor and that is it for this one i think this would be perfect on a chilly day or just when you want something delicious but are feeling a little lazy so next up we're going to have a rice and bean bowl and we're going to be making a mexican styled quick rice so to start out i found this microwave rice actually online i got it from thrive market but i know trader joe's sell some microwave rice as well and i'm sure most grocery stores do so the package instructions were just to squeeze the bag a bit then rip a corner and microwave it for 90 seconds so that's what i did and then afterwards i just broke the rice up a little bit with my spatula and added in a little bit of corn some cumin and some salsa and then i stirred all of this together and the rice was still warm enough so it heated up the corn and the salsa and this formed our mexican styled rice so then we're just going to put this in a bowl with some beans that you can also heat up in the microwave and pretty simple just top it with whatever you want i again use some cilantro avocado some fresh lime juice and then again a sprinkle of nutritional yeast and this is a super easy staple but still so satisfying and then last but not least we're going to be making some microwave enchiladas i'm pretty proud of this recipe guys not gonna lie so to start out we're going to make our enchilada sauce by mixing some fire roasted tomatoes with some salsa and usually enchilada sauce is a little bit more smooth and not as chunky but we're just using the microwave here we're not using a blender so we're just gonna go with that then for our filling we're going to make some black beans some corn some freshly chopped cilantro and a little bit of cumin and chili powder finally add a dash of salsa to blend everything together well mix it all up until it's well incorporated and then that's it for our filling so to make our enchiladas you're going to need a wider microwave safe dish and you're just going to spread about half of a cup of salsa over the bottom of the dish and just make sure it's spread out well so nothing sticks to the bottom then to fill each of our enchiladas we're obviously going to need some corn tortillas or you could really use any tortilla you wanted to i suppose and you're just going to add a few spoonfuls of the enchilada filling into the tortilla and then roll that up and then you're going to put the open side um, of the roll face down into the microwave pan so as you can see here i'm putting the tortilla where the open part is down 
and then you're just going to repeat this process with the rest of your tortillas you could probably do about five or six and then you're just going to top it off with the remainder of that enchilada sauce that we made earlier and you want to make sure that the tortillas are pretty well coated so they soften because if it's not covered in sauce it might get a little hard or chewy in the microwave so i just spread that out evenly and then i topped it with a generous portion of nutritional yeast because um it's life guys if you haven't tried it you need to get on that and then i just microwaved it for about three minutes this is what it looks like after it popped out and then i just put a few enchiladas onto a plate and served it with a little bit more fresh cilantro a few chunks of avocado because avocado is delicious and then some limes on the side to squeeze on top and that is it who knew you could make decently tasting enchiladas in the microwave certainly not me until i film this video and that sums up our three microwavable recipes let me know in the comments below which one you guys like the most which one you want to make first and also let me know if you like this series if you do i can make more videos like this maybe even do some microwavable desserts if you are new to my channel and like what you see here be sure to hit that subscribe button right down there i post two new videos every single week and i would love to have you in this group of cool individuals and other than that thank you guys so so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will talk to you in the next video bye